No. So, what is your name and where are you from? What's up? My name is Jonas. Yeah. I'm from California. Oh, yeah? uh, right now, I'm uh, enjoying a nice autumn day in Washington Square Park. Yep. Yeah. All right. Tell me, tell me a little bit about California. What do we need to know about it well, for those people to... who have never been there? Well, I'd say. I like to organize it into like three zones. Yeah. I'd say Silicon Valley in the Bay Area yep. really type of constitutes its own kind of yeah. ecosystem. Uh -huh. Then there's NorCal, yep. in Sacramento, all the yeah. way really spreading up to the border of Washington. Yeah. And then there's SoCal, which is pretty much Death Valley and everything below. Uh, it's really its own country. A lot of people compare LA to New York. I'd say the fundamental difference is that you need a car in LA, and I think New York is still the place to be. What are some places I need to visit in California? Uh, you, everybody's got to visit LA. Um, San Francisco, just for the sights and the beauty. The. Uh, That's the, the Raiders. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I see you're wearing a Raiders uh, jacket. That's over <laughs> not... there in the Bay, Bay, Bay yeah. Area. Yeah. You a Raiders fan? I was growing up until they just, uh, they never turned it around. Okay. So, uh, I see you got a little, uh, got some questions for me? Yes, I got lots of questions. All right, then lay it on me, man. Well, um, well, first of all, this is what I like to ask people from L.A. I asked another person from L.A. the same question. I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. What can you tell me about MacArthur Park? MacArthur Park? A lot of homeless people. Um, it's big enough that you should be able to just enjoy it. Um, I like. It's really the parks in New York are a lot like smaller aside from Central Park. Um, what like what else? Other questions. If you were not in New York, where would you be? Wherever I was. Back to California, you mean? Uh, as in. I wasn't in New York, I'd probably, I don't know, I lived in Nashville, Tennessee for a little bit. I think that's uh, a nice spot. I know? just had a guy from Nashville yesterday. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you tell me about Nashville? Music City. Music City. I mean... You a country fan? And that's the thing is, it's a popular misconception. I think it used to really be country based, but Taylor Swift's out of there and she kind of put a pop twist on it. You know? So that's, it's, it's, things have changed. Yeah, for sure. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions and then if you, if you are unable to answer them, just say skip. All right, sure. Three wishes. What are, what are they? Uh, immortality, the ability to read minds, and uh, infinite wealth. That's very creative. See, these kinds of questions, they, they, they bring us back. They bring us back to an earlier time. I agree. Peer pressure, how has that affected you in life, uh, if at all? I mean, after high school, that I don't think that shit's real anymore. Uh, it's as real as you let it be. Now, were you pre peer pressured in high school? I mean, of course. Uh, who hasn't had their first beer before they're 24, 21, you know? So you were pressured into drinking? Uh, I guess I would say willingly pressured. Kind what of thing. I don't think peer pressure is necessarily a bad thing. I think our peers maybe sometimes have our best interests in mind. Mm -hmm. All right, now, what have been some game changers in your life? Game changers. I said Something number, that happened to you that changed the way the you live your life. Number one game changer has to be just buying that ticket and just coming to New York. Uh, you know, was basically working a job I really didn't like, and uh, you know, just decided I wanted to restart. And you know, now that was about two years ago, and now here I am, and uh, you know, no regrets. What were some of your first impressions coming to the city? Oh man, I thought it was an arms race, not a city. It really was um, just overwhelming, you know? I've been in major metros in the East Coast, but the fact that there's no alleys here really just condenses everything. Um, but uh, once you get a lay of the map, you can uh, steer the ship if you uh, get what I mean. Good advice. How important is marriage to you? 
it's the highest goal. I, I think not only for me, but you know, for like any man, you know, uh, it's very easy to cut and run. And uh, I think the point of marriage is that if you're truly married, you don't get to leave and to be with a person and uh, be like, I messed up, you're messed up, but we're gonna stay here and resolve whatever problem. And all, obviously the scion of children, uh, I mean, it's the bedrock of dynasties. That's a good answer. A lot, I've been getting a lot of answers saying, they don't want to get married or it's not important at all. And you know, here's the thing. A lot of people will say it's a patriarchal institution, but the question to ask yourself is why is only rich girls getting married right now? It's a desirable thing and it always has been. Even not among to say, though, that marriage is necessarily only between a man and a woman, you know. We had a convention on that and it's decided. Well, even amongst animals. They, uh, they tend to do that as well. I yeah. mean, not exactly marriage, but they, I mean, they stick together. If you got to be, if you're not serious about that, you're not serious about anything. All right, definitely. Now, ancestry, how important is that to you? Ancestry, well, I was born in Libya. My mom is Somali. So, you know, I have Italian, Arab, Somali, Sub-Saharan African ancestry. I, I really want to do the 23 and me when I got that loose 99 bucks to sort of almost kind of not want to do it to sort of figure out you know the type of uh you know maze i'm going to try to walk down to figure out you know who i where you come from matters and, yeah and uh obviously to be able to you know i was born in libya in tripoli libya but to be able to go back there and like revisit in a more mature state uh definitely one of my life goals could you what is the weirdest thing, cringiest thing anyone's ever said or done to you in this park? Uh, some uh, guy like offered me $10,000 to marry his wife, so, <laughs> or uh, to marry his daughter so that she would like gain citizenship, so. Oh, you're an American citizen? Yeah, yeah, so. Wow, that is, that is definitely a, a very strange proposal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'd probably say, like, I had a dude offer me to sleep with his wife while he recorded it. That was definitely the weirdest thing. Wow. And, uh, I did not take him up on that offer. You're definitely giving me some very good answers. Some unprecedented answers. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, you'll, I mean, once you see my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> okay, so you speak, I assume you speak Arabic. Yeah, uh, not enough, but I'm proud enough to speak it out loud. A uh, little bit. Can yeah. you say anything in a foreign language, in a, a phrase, something, a catchphrase, something yeah, that... Yeah, I expected Deutsch. Okay. I know a little bit of German. Yeah. So, yeah. Say something in German other than that. Meine Deutsche Schweizer, it's bitte kleine Deutsche. All right, cool. What kind of countries have you been to? Ich super. Yo. What kind... There, there's a German guy, an old German guy over there too. He yeah, was I love the Germans. Yeah. Tell me, uh, where have you traveled to in this world or in this country? I mean, I was born in Libya, Pittsburgh, Nashville, all of California. Been down to the Gulf Coast, went to Jamaica, New York, border of Canada. Pretty much everywhere inside the uh, Everywhere I've been, it's been in the Western Hemisphere. I'm trying to get maybe out to the East. What is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you? And if you can't think of that, then anything nice that anything anyone's ever done for you. I'd say I was stranded in Nashville. My flight was like booked way out because of a clerical error. Uh, I'm on the camera right now. If you just give me a second. Oh sure. Um clerical error and uh basically i just got put up in his place for about like three or four days and it was super cold so yeah as a friend i really appreciated that because you know i fucked up and uh he kind of came to rally what is dating like right now in the new york city dating? area dating i yeah. mean i need a date guys ladies whoever you know um I don't know, COVID kind of wrecked things because the bar scene is fucked. 
I see you laughing, it's true. You know what I mean? But once the stuff starts and opening it's up. It's open till 10 o'clock though, by the way, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't really get inside there. I mean, 10 o'clock is when I usually show up to the bar. Mm -hmm. So. There's a game changer right there. Yeah. Now, what has worked for you and what has not worked for you when it comes to dating? I mean, what is some of the wrong approaches for, for our brothers out there? Who is trying to, to find that special somewhere? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if, no, if, if. Let us learn from your mistakes. <laughs> I really like, I really like you as an interviewer. I would say, don't force it. Let nature take its course. But if you don't shoot your shot, it's never now, taken. Now, what has worked for you? What kind of what approach? What has worked for yeah. me? For all the young fellows out I'm there. I'm not going to say something stupid like be myself. Be yourself. You know, uh, I will say it, it, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something long term, eventually you have to be yourself. Because, you know, women know when you're lying. But if it's something short term, no, you, you can... You can be, be who you need to be for the night. And if you're a man at night, yo, what's up, player? <laughs> you need to be a man in the morning. I just saw my friend there, Remy, he's a good guy. Can you do any impressions? Oh, uh, now let me be clear. The American people, uh, they've selected me. <laughs> That was your Obama impression. Fantastic. Yes. Great. Mo a lot of people, they can't do impressions. So I guess this is a test to people's creativity. Now we live in a consumerist society. All right, let's say, I see you got your hair dyed here. Let's say you're looking for like a, a salon, right? Yeah. How do you know who you can trust, who you cannot trust? What are some of the, the indicators? Number one is you gotta talk to whoever the hairstylist is. Um, but Yelp is your best friend in New York. And Aside I, from the five bucks in your back pocket, that you can stretch and do whatever you want. Another problem is a lot of hairstylists tend to just do what they think is cool or looks cool and don't take instructions properly. That's interesting. I've never went to a hairstylist myself. Oh, you actually. do it yourself? Uh, yeah, this, I just threw some peroxide into my hair on a whim. Now tell me some good places to film. Man, film these dude, kinds of videos. I think Central Park is like the place to be. It's such a respite from the crisis of the city. Um, and it's honestly my, my fatal love of the city. Um, you gotta go. You gotta go to Central Park. Now, Union Square's nearby, I tried that, but to really get people out of the element of the city, and really get yourself out of the element of the city, you know? Do you have any special talent? Um, I don't think anything special, but, uh, I'm the opportunist par excellence. <laughs> Good answer. All right, next question. What do you want to do when the pandemic ends? Yo, how about we go to the clubs and get lit, New York? Honestly, overdue. Where do you see yourself five years from now? You see yourself well, right owning a house, married, kids. I really, I really, I mean, 29. Career. Close to 30. Hopefully, uh, teaching. Teaching. I like to be a teacher. That's a good career, man. What kinds of videos do you watch? Aside from pornography, I watch uh, whatever's trending on YouTube. Um, Jordan Peterson was a, a guy that I knew was going to be bigger than before he got popular. Um, a lot of long stream lectures. TED Talks. But yeah, definitely pornography. What is your biggest accomplishment in life? As lame as it sounds, I came fifth in the country in high school as a national debater. I also won the state debate championship, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, I got into Vanderbilt University. Is that 